Ryan, do you have an idea how the quarterback reps will shake out tonight? No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna approach him as we go through the game. To get out of today, which you were hoping to going into the game. Yes, you know today was really truly a, a true Friday practice. Uh, we went through every phase of the game. We tried to give these guys every scenario so they got a chance to go through the situation of football. Um, I thought Temple was really good. A little disappointed. We made some mistakes. Uh, we had some uh, self-inflicted mistakes. You know, we can't jump off sides. We, we can't forget the snap count, stuff like that. The, those little details, the, the disappointing part was, you know, th these, these guys have been practicing, doing a lot of good things, but, again, we can't do that. Is that what kind of prompt did you run to kind of have a reminder about halfway through? No, that was something else, completely different. Intensity? No, no, no. no. Completely different. Which group are you looking for to see? Uh, Cam. Is there a? Well, no, I, I think more so than anything else, um, and not necessarily about the group, but just, just consistency throughout the team. You, know, you want to make sure certain guys are, are, are doing their jobs. Um, but, but the thing, biggest, the biggest thing, and I've talked about it, you know, I talk about it every every camp is just being consistent. You know, when we get out there and, and we have a series that goes seven, eight plays on offense, you know, you, you want to see us be able to run the ball effectively, somewhere around four yards on the average. If we throw five passes, we want to catch at least four. You know, that, that type of thing. Defensively, you know, we want to see you know three, four, five and outs. You know, we we don't want to see long drives. We don't want to see big plays given up. We want to make sure we keep the ball in front of us. You've seen these guys obviously in camp for the last couple of weeks. What are you looking for differently in, in a game situation tomorrow night? Um, who's going to make plays uh, on the defensive side? You know, you, you want to see pass rushers. You know, um, get around the quarterback. You want to see linebackers keeping the ball in front of them, making plays. You want to see DBs being around the ball when it's in the air. Uh, I, I think again that that's what we're looking for. Offensively, again, we want to be able to protect the quarterback. We want to see who's blocking, who's gotten better as blockers, um, and then we want playmakers, guys that are going to make plays for us. Um, and, and that's probably the biggest thing. On special teams, you want to see who's going to step up and, and, and be one of those special teams aces, one of those guys that's you know willing to go down and make plays and you know and 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 create field position for you. And you know, as far as the returners go, it's going to be exciting to see who's who, who's who's going to be out there. Is one of your goals tomorrow night to kind of discern a little better that depth in the secondary? Absolutely. We want to see who's going to separate themselves and who's going to show us that they belong. Kurt was talking yesterday about how with the offense and the new weapons you have in there, it's really been tough on the defense to adjust a lot of those things to cover a lot of those guys. What have you seen out there and, and how do you feel about the evolution of what you've done with the offense so far? Well, I, I like what's happened with the offense. I think some of the changes that we have implemented are, are going to be beneficial to us. You know, I think some of the players that we've brought in, some of the players we've drafted, I think are guys that are going to add to what we want to do and what we're trying to do. I'm excited about that group of guys. I really am. I'm just, I, I really think we can, you know, we, we can we can grow and become, a, you know, an even more explosive unit. How, how good is it for the defense, too, to, to be exposed to that because they see a lot of that in the rest of the league? Absolutely, and, and that's, you know, and that's one of the really good things about it. You know, we we come here and, and we do start with the basics, but the thing that always seems to happen is, you know, you, you, you get right into the complicated. And if you can handle those things early on, I, I think it, it's, it's going to benefit you. Um, and that's one of the nice things about being a multifaceted offense. It, it helps your defense in terms of growth. Ron, you talked about being smart with guys like Julius. Uh, fair to assume guys like him and Charles might get the night off. Yes, yeah, so they'll get very limited action. So again, you know, a lot of things that we do these first couple of weeks are really about seeing what we got with the younger guys. You know, the older guys will start getting their 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 more increased reps and stuff like that as we start getting closer to the regular season. Coach. Dean Marlowe wasn't out there again today. Uh, if he were to miss extended time, do you think that the safety group right now is ready to step up? Do you like the depth that you have there? Um, I do like the depth. I like who's out there. But yes, you know, it's one of those things that we most certainly would like to get you know, Dean healthy and get him back out there. And we'll see how it goes. You officially ruled Cam out tomorrow night, though? I'm sorry? Cam officially ruled out for tomorrow night? Yes, 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 yes. Derek will start, I guess. Yes. And then after that, you said just sort of. Yeah, we'll, we'll see the flow of the game, how it goes.